Hey folks, this is another do-it-yourself video brought to you by DIY Guy123. So I've had a couple tractors. Uh, this is this is my latest acquisition and uh, one of the problems that I've had with the first tractor and with this one is the signal lights or the hazard lights I guess there, whatever they are, these guys on the side, they're at a vulnerable uh, position when they come from the factory. The first tractor I had was a Massey 2310. They were mounted on the outside with no protection over them, no metal protection. And you know, you're going to be near trees and well, hopefully not too close to the sides of buildings, but anyway, there will be things that touch those lights over time. Uh, unless you live in a farmer's field with nothing else around and even then you probably will. Maybe you'll even bump into it. And so with the other tractor I had, I drove into, uh, I drove beside a tree when I was snow blowing and gee i broke the lens and it was really frustrating the the new lens assembly similar to this was about a hundred bucks and of course i didn't want to spend that so i took time to crazy glue it all back together and it looked okay and then three years later i did the same thing and broke it again and i just said forget it i won't bother fixing it um, this kubota tractor had uh had this kind of a lens right here and uh, you can see how there's a a threaded part this is threaded right here and a nut on the back and so of course I've made this bracket right here but that used to go right into the fender well I've made a cab and I've got other videos that I'll post in the future about how the cab construction went but basically I had to remove uh, that light was on the fender right here and uh, I had to remove the light because the cab was going to be in the way and so I simply uh, took a bracket or made a bracket out of this uh, scrap steel I had and I welded these springs that I got from the from the uh, actually from the junk dealer they came off a trampoline there's springs around a trampoline so I got two of them welded them onto uh, a bracket drilled it and sunk some bolts right through the fender so it's probably can't see but it's bolted underneath and then the spring comes along and it's welded on this end to a flat piece of steel and now if the tree or something like that hits them uh, you know, it's just going to bend out of the way and that so that you know, that's great but the spring is also stiff enough that when you're driving uh, it may wiggle a little bit like that but it's not going to it's not going to do that you're not going to be driving this tractor over you know, huge bumps at speed so I'm not worried about these things rattling around and making a big racket so anyway, this is my do-it-yourself tip on how you can build a bracket to protect your lights and uh, and also because they're now spring loaded i extended them further out so obviously you need to be able to see them to outside of the cab so that's my tip for you today good luck with your do-it-yourself project and if you like my videos make sure to subscribe